Hey, God. <coughs> Why do you have a body? I can't get it out. I can't get it out. And I just want to get it out. Oh my god, that seems so wrong. Just gonna breathe out my cheek. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new then welcome. My name is Declan and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how I created this really super glam New Year's Eve inspired look. Also if you want to know how I went from this mugshot right here to this really dewy healthy looking skin then keep on watching. <laughs> look straight on camera. Gosh, is anything about me straight? Okay, so I think I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because I've done it so many times on camera before. If you guys want to see it, I'm sure it's in many of my other videos, but to do it, I'm just going to use Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in taupe, and then to carve them out, I'm going to use this. This is the Makeup Revolution Pro Full Coverage Camouflage Concealer in Shade 1. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and it will be right back. So brows are all done and carved out and I'm just setting them with some RCMA. I love that concealer but honestly I've used it before in a video and I've said this before, it feels like really oily and really like heavy on the eyes until you set it and then as soon as you set it, it's like amazing. It's so good. For the eyes, I'm going to be using this palette. This is the Lunar Beauty palette. It's so pretty. If I can open it, oh my god, this is what it looks like on the inside. Where is my fluffy brush? Got it. That was like a bit of a delayed response there. I'm going to be taking thickening and just concentrating that all the way through the crease. Actually going to switch to a smaller brush because I need to add in like a bit of this pigment. It's kind of like diffusing out and I don't want it to right now so that's better and then I'll diffuse that out. I just had a little diamond stuck to my finger. Switching to this little fluffy brush right here. This brush is like on its last legs. It's like really wobbly and you can't even see that. I'm just going to dip into the shade Hunty, which is just this shade right here. And I'm going to kind of just diffuse this shade out and a little bit up to the brow. I don't want to go too high. That brush is done. I'm switching to this one. This is just the Spectrum BO6 brush and I'm just going to diffuse this out. I actually just realised that the Hunty shade is actually like a much darker shade on the eye than it is in the pan. It totally looks like that that one there could be a really good transition shade to help blend this one out but it's actually so much darker as you can see right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of that and drag it through the crease using that same little tapered brush I used before. So I'm just dipping into that and I'm going to like deepen up this crease because I have no choice now. So I'm going to leave it at that and then the next shade that I'm going to dip into is this one right here. This is called Mug and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer V part of the eye and drag it all the way through the crease as well. Ooh, oh damn that's nice. How weird is this video going to sound for anybody who is not watching it and is just in the room. Again, I'm just laying down the pigment as strong as I can and then I'm going to diffuse it out. I'm going to switch it to another little detailer brush. This is just a tiny little bullet brush by Spectrum, the A12. And it's just gonna help me get like right in at the front crease without going like too high and it ended up in my eyebrow. Yes, 2000 glam. Recently, my eyeshadow has been a little bit of a bitch to blend. I don't know what's going on. Is it the time of year I'm losing my touch? I need a smaller brush. That's the brush. This is just a revolution, makeup revolution brush. I'm just dipping into the two shades together and blending it through. This seems to be the only brush that's doing the job. That is not how that's meant to be. I was like using like 12 brushes and I've only done one eye. Okay, so there we go. That is like all I'm gonna do right now. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Shady, which is that really deep dark black shade. And I just described like the perfect black. like. Duh, it's deep dark, but I'm just going to take that on this little blending brush and I'm going to just concentrate this on the outer V and I'm only going to pull it halfway across because I really don't want to pull it like further in the eye or it's just going to end up looking like one big dark mess. I'm going to stop roughly about there because I don't want to go too far in because I'm going to be cutting the crease so laying down a dark shade is just going to like make it 10 times harder. Another little blending brush. This palette's 100% going to make you feel like you're shit at makeup. But it's only because it's pressed pigments. That's why on the back, I'm pretty sure it says that it's not suitable for the eyes. Okay, it doesn't say it on the back, but I am sure that I read that somewhere. Like, pigments 
sometimes have that issue because they stain and stuff so it has to be said that they're not like suitable but that's why it's so difficult to blend out like you're going to be here a while if you buy this palette it's worth it when you get like the end look though I feel like with pigments the best thing is just the stipple. Now that that looks absolutely insane I'm just going to clean up the edges and any fallout that's happened and then I am going to carve my crease. So to carve the crease I'm just going to go back in with my Makeup Revolution concealer and a little concealer brush. You can find it. You can take some. So when it gets to like the little bit of the edge between my shadow, I'm just going to blend it with my finger. Okay, so while still looking down, because I cannot look up, I'm going to take that gold shade, Legendary, and I'm going to pack that all over this wet concealer. So I'm just going to take, I can find my brush. I'm going to take a Spectrum A13 brush. I'm going to spray it with some Dewy Set by Anastasia. Now that that's done, I'm just going to switch to a different brush. I'm going to go back to that same one we used for the black to pack it on and I'm just going to gently tickle away where that gold meets the black just to try and blend it a little bit better. Just using what's already on my brush as well. So there we go, I'm going to leave that eye like that just now and I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and I will be right back. There we go, matching eyes or semi-matching eyes, I hope they match. Now I'm going to move on to making them just a little bit more sparkly. So I'm going to be taking this, this is the next next NYX glitter and this is in the shade gold kind of an anti-climax there I'm also just going to take some NYX glitter primer take a little bit of that on a brush and start packing this glitter on I'm just going to use another little concealer brush I feel like it's going to do the job perfectly and if it doesn't I'm sure I'll switch brushes I've done it like 80 million times already and randomly just press this all over oh my gosh that is so sparkly, look at that. I don't want it to dip out. Wow. you think it was like mirrored in there and it's not. So there was a little bit of fallout with that. I'm just going to dust it away. Oh my god. That was some eyeshadow fallout, not glitter. Damn it. Just to kind of make the cut crease a little bit sharper, I'm going to take some of this. This is W7's Metallic Flash Glitter and I don't even know what shade it is. It's so sparkly I can't even read it. We're just going to go with gold. And I'm going to basically just line right where that crease is, just on top of that part. Oh wow, that looks so much better, like just so sharp. Mm. Now that that's dry, I'm just going to add in some highlight. And the highlight that I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Aurora Glow Cut. I'm going to be taking Lyra, which is this one right here. This is my ultimate favourite highlight, it's so pretty. I'm just going to take this on the brush that actually comes with the Lunar Beauty palette and I'm going to just highlight my brow bone. Moving on to the face, I'm just going to go in with a primer and for that I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime. This stuff smells amazing. Oh, For foundation today I'm going to be taking my Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay. This is in the shade Ivory. All of my makeup's in the shade ivory because I'm so pale. So I'm going to concentrate on covering up all of this. This is oh, such a pest. Like, honestly, for anybody thinking, why don't you just get electrosis? That is so expensive. Plus, I don't want it to be like a forever thing. I'm going to take about three pumps of that. Maybe, say four for good luck. And I'm going to start applying this. I have had so many people compliment my skin, been like, oh my god, your skin's so amazing. I'm like, you obviously haven't seen it when I've just shaped. This is actually looking a little bit off on camera when it gets here, but everybody's body's different from their face. Look at this before and then watch me blend this out in super speed. Look at the difference in my face. This foundation is literally the best. It's so good and so comfortable. And this is just one light coat. Naturally I'm a really pink person, like my skin is quite red so this foundation just like completely, like look at that, look at it compared to my nose, it just evens everything out and I love it, it's so good. You'll notice that I've left under the eyes and this is because I feel like if you were to go in with foundation and then concealer it's just like an extra step that you could avoid and I feel like all of those layers that add up are just going to lead to cakiness. So for concealer I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape, this is in the shade fair. I'm gonna do the very out of trend triangle look. I feel like I've never done this when it was a thing and now I love it. Like I've been doing it probably for like the past few months and it's just the best thing for giving the appearance of really voluptuous plump cheeks. 
and especially when you go in with contour which obviously I'm going to do in a minute. I'm also just going to apply a little bit on my smile lines because they like to protrude sometimes and it's, it's an issue. A little bit where this breakout didn't fully cover up as well. So I'm going to leave it like this just now and just hear me out. This is a little makeup tip that I love to do. If I was to go in and start blending this out while it's still wet, a lot of the product actually gets soaked up into the sponge and you lose some coverage. So leaving it like this is just going to dry down, it's going to stay in the same place and you're going to get that full coverage look. So while that's kind of drying down, I'm going to move on to my next product. I'm going to be contouring and I'm going to be taking this. This is the LA Girl Velvet Bronzer and this is like the perfect bronzer for people with the same skin tone as me. Like really really pale. It has the perfect undertone. Really like rosy red undertone. And I'm just going to like, I guess, colour in my entire face. Just going to take some dewy set and my Real Technique Sculpting Brush and blend this out. Isn't that like the perfect shade? Isn't it? Isn't that such a pretty contour? So natural, I love it. I always like to apply a little bit on my chin just to add a little bit of definition. Then I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and gently just go over it a little bit just to help it blend into the foundation so that it's not like woof. Okay, so as you can see, it's keeping that full coverage there. It's not like disappearing into my Beauty Blender. I can actually feel that it's nice and tacky. It's really sticky, which is good. When it comes to the edge of my eye, I like to just kind of push my medical sponge to create a nice straight line so that it doesn't ruin my eyeshadow. I'm coming at you guys so hard with the tips in this video, but if you are like me and your medical sponge is just too big to get into the inner corner of where your concealer is at your eye, you don't want to ruin your eyeshadow, just take a little fluffy blending brush and stipple and it completely diffuses in perfectly. Now I'm moving on to setting the face and I'm just going to take my trusty product that I use in every single video, some RCMA. Just for under the eyes, I'm going to take another dry, unused Real Techniques sponge and I'm just going to press under there. I feel like using a brush when the concealer is still a little bit tacky just leaves lines. I'm not like a big fan of brushes. Oh my god. Looks like I've been doing cocaine. Little wipe to the lips. Just to deepen up my contour a little bit more and add a little bit more warmth to my face, I'm going to be taking this. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is incredible. It's basically like that LA Girl cream formula but in powder and it's so good. To blend that out, I'm just going to take this right here. This is the Revolution brushes, the Makeup Revolution ones. And I'm just going to chisel away. Because that was so much powder, I'm going to take some of this, more powder. But it's a highlight and I love this one. This is by Elamasca. It's called OMG. And I love using this as a skin finish. It is a blinding highlight when you build it up. But just like a little light dusting with a big fluffy brush, it just brings your skin to life. So for someone like me who can't leave their foundation wet without setting it, this will change your life. For blush, I'm going to be trying this. I've never tried this before. This is the iHeart Revolution Little Strawberry Blush. I'm covering that, there's no mirror. But how cute is that? Oh my god, that's so cute. This is a highlight in the middle and then it's blusher all the way around. So I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to take a Revolution brush. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? Whoa. Oh, that is a lot of fallout. That covered me. Oh. Okay, that is really lightly pressed. Oh my god. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Press that just over the contour and between the concealer. Oh, that is really pretty. A little bit goes a long way. Just to deepen it up a little tiny bit, I'm just going to take this by Tarte. It is the Eye and Cheek Palette. And I'm going to dip into the blusher in there, which is called Mystify. It's just like the perfect shade between how pink this blusher is and my contour. So it's blending all together. That blush is stunning. Can you guys see the glow that it's added? Oh. Going back to the Life's a Drag palette, I'm just going to take some more of Sickening, that same shade that we went in with for the transition shade. And I'm going to take it on a little Spectrum A12 brush and start blending that just underneath my eye. Now just taking a Real Techniques, this is actually a brow brush, but I love using it for getting really close to my lash line. I'm just going to take some of Shady from that palette, which is the black shade, and just blend it halfway across, diffuse it a little bit, so like that. 
just stop halfway. Taking some more of a sickening and that same brush, I'm just going to gently tickle away and kind of soften that black a little bit. Now we're done with that palette, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. Just going to use the Paradise Ecstatic Mascara by L'Oreal Paris. This is perfect mascara if you want like the darkest of the dark. It's so long wearing as well, like it's not one of those ones that like dries up and cracks and falls off and flakes and stuff. So this will be perfect for that really long night. While that is drying, I'm just going to go in with some clear brow gel from Anastasia and bring these brows back to life. Now just to line my upper waterline, I'm just going to take some Amazon Tarte Clay Liner and this is just in the shade black. Also just going to take this and go halfway along my lower lash line, just kind of keep the inner corner quite bright so that's what that's done. The difference. For my lashes, I already have the glue on them, I use Glad Lash Lash Lock Glue, but they are in the style, give me a minute, Red Glebeck, I don't know, but they are by Tanya YR Cosmetics. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of inner glow and I'm just going to dip back into my Aurora Glow Kit by Anastasia and I'm going to take Eclipse. It's so stunning. I'm also going to glow up my face using that palette and the exact same shade. I'm just going to take some Dewy Set, a Real Techniques setting brush and I'm going to glow to the gods as they say. Damn. Oh. Oh my god, that highlight is just the best. Now moving on to the lips and to complete this look, I'm going to be taking three products. This is the My Looking Glass Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose and I'm going to be taking two Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. One of them is in the shade Toast and the other is in the shade Stripped. So I'm going to go ahead and apply them and I will be right back. Okay, so the lips are done and now I'm just going to finish off this look by setting my face with some dewy set. Okay guys, so that completes today's tutorial. I feel like I am ready for New Year's. I'm ready to go and party, but reality is I'm probably just going to wipe this off and go to bed because it's so late. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to film. I feel like this is so me, like really sparkly and just extreme. If you did enjoy this video then please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Are you going to try this for New Year's Eve? Let me know. And if you haven't yet already then please subscribe, it would mean so much to me and I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye! Do you know why I'm twerking, you guys? I never see have it. to try and it.